step into the flickering realm of the past, where celluloid dreams whispered secrets and silver screens bore witness to captivating tales. Have you ever ventured into the hauntingly exquisite world of Suddenly, Last Summer, the 1959 masterpiece that ensnares hearts even in the present day? Cast your memory back to that moment, a quiet evening or perhaps a lazy weekend, when the glow of the screen embraced you, and the enigmatic story unfolded like a delicate flower releasing its long-held scent. What shards of memories do you claim to from your first encounter with this cinematic treasure? Was it the spine-tingling suspense that shrouded the plot, like a mist weaving through the intricate narrative? Or did the impeccable performances of Elizabeth Taylor, Katharine Hepburn, and Montgomery Clift etch themselves into your thoughts, their emotions and expressions forever etched in the corridors of your mind? Maybe it was the visual symphony, where the lush settings and shadowy corners danced in perfect harmony, painting a backdrop as vivid as the characters themselves. In the midst of your reflections, let's set the stage for a deeper exploration. Let the spotlight now shift to the lesser-known gems, the hidden facets that illuminate suddenly, last summer in a new light. These intriguing tidbits, like fragments of a lost conversation, beckon you to learn more. Picture this, the serendipitous casting choices that lent an air of authenticity to the film, infusing each scene with an uncanny energy. And did you know that the movie's roots lie in Tennessee Williams' haunting play, a story that dared to delve into the darkest corners of the human psyche? But wait, there's more. Venture further with us as we unearth the threads that wove this cinematic tapestry. Discover the meticulous art direction that transported you to a different era, and the masterful direction that skillfully orchestrated every gasp, every sigh, and every pulse quickening moment. Each frame is a brushstroke, every line of dialogue a stroke of genius, coming together to create an unforgettable tableau that still resonates across time. So, let these revelations intertwine with your own cherished memories of suddenly, last summer. Let them enrich your understanding and appreciation of a film that transcends decades and genres, a piece of cinema's puzzle that continues to captivate and provoke. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of Suddenly, Last Summer and the secrets it holds. As we delve into the intricacies and curiosities of this cinematic treasure, remember that every detail, every nuance, is a testament to the enduring magic of storytelling. Suddenly, Last Summer, unveiling shadows of the mind derived from a play by Tennessee Williams, Suddenly, Last Summer emerged in 1959 as a riveting psychological drama directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz. Set against a backdrop of mystery and secrets, the film delves into the harrowing aftermath of a young man's tragic death during a European vacation. The narrative orbits around a wealthy widow, Violet Venable, portrayed remarkably by Katherine Hepburn, who is consumed by her obsession to suppress a disturbing truth about her deceased son. Dr. Kukrowicz, played by Montgomery Clift, becomes an essential figure in unlocking the repressed memories of Catherine Holly, portrayed by Elizabeth Taylor, whose recollections of that fateful summer are both a haunting puzzle and a threat to Violet's reputation. The movie's distinctive style resides in its introspective exploration of repressed desires, mental anguish, and the intricacies of human psychology. The dichotomy of lush, exotic settings juxtaposed with the shadowy corners of the mind creates an atmosphere both alluring and unsettling. Hepburn's portrayal of the domineering yet fragile Violet, coupled with Taylor's visceral performance as the traumatized Catherine, lends the film an enduring impact. The movie probes the darkness beneath the surface of social veneers, a theme that resonated profoundly in its time and continues to provoke contemplation about the depths of human nature. Suddenly, Last Summer remains a thought-provoking piece, dissecting the fragility of memory and the lengths to which individuals will go to protect their illusions, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of cinema and psychological storytelling. Amid the glitz and glamour of 1959, the film suddenly, last summer emerged as a cinematic enigma, swirling with tales behind the scenes. While Elizabeth Taylor and Montgomery Clift graced the screen, an unsettling undertone simmered beneath. The shadowy corridors of the production whispered of a disconcerting orchestral change. Malcolm Arnold, tasked with composing the score, found himself entangled in the film's disquieting narrative. The material's unsettling nature proved too much, prompting Arnold's hasty withdrawal from the project. The echoes of his decision lingered, casting an eerie symphonic absence over the final cut. In the heart of this cinematic storm stood Katharine Hepburn, a titan of the silver screen. However, even her formidable presence couldn't mask the turmoil that brewed behind closed doors. As the cameras rolled, her lover, Spencer Tracy, battled critical illness, the toll of years spent in the embrace of vices. The strain of his condition wove a somber thread into Hepburn's performance. Yet, the disquiet didn't cease there. The lens captured not just the cast's performances, but also the tensions simmering between Hepburn, Taylor, and director Joseph L. Mankiewicz. The scale seemed tipped in Taylor's favor, leaving Hepburn to grapple with a sense of being overshadowed. Even the film's final shot bore the weight of her discontent, a harsh portrayal in unadorned light, stripped of the comforting embrace of makeup. Amidst the drama, an intriguing detail lay hidden within the film's setting. Inside Sin, Mary's Library, a cryptic Latin inscription adorned the mantle, proclaiming CQVA Fata Sinit, a haunting phrase translating to If the Fates Allow, a phrase pregnant with meaning, underscoring the precarious nature of fate that the characters were destined to confront. 
Suddenly, last summer, a film of enigmatic beauty drew the curtain on 1959 with a tale both on and off the screen. The echoes of Malcolm Arnold's withdrawal, Hepburn's personal trials, and the artistic tussles lingered as credits rolled. Through the lens of this film, a year's worth of dramas converged, reminding us that the silver screen often reflects the shadows that dance behind it. In the annals of cinema, the summer of 1959 would forever be remembered for the enigma that was suddenly, last summer. 1959 seconds suddenly, last summer, a tale of double Oscar triumph in the annals of cinema, where few tread, the 1959 movie Suddenly, Last Summer stands out as an exceptional and intriguing piece of art. Notably, it earned the distinction of being one of only five films to secure dual Academy Award nominations for Best Actress. In this case, the luminary talents of Katharine Hepburn and Dame Elizabeth Taylor were so recognized. This exclusive club of double Best Actress nominations is an illustrious one, including the likes of All About Eve, The Turning Point, Terms of Endearment, and Thelma and Louise. Among these performances, Shirley MacLaine is the sole recipient to clinch the coveted Oscar for her relevant portrayal. The film's thematic depth also warrants attention. Suddenly, last summer delved into smoking as more than mere habit, plumbing the territory of addiction and its power to sway emotions and attitudes. At a time when such explorations were scarce, this cinematic work stood apart, offering a lens into the complexities of the human psyche. Behind the scenes, the movie's trajectory took a curious turn. Peter O'Toole, whose illustrious career later led him to the iconic Lawrence of Arabia, faced an inauspicious screen test experience. So disastrous was the attempt that the producer, Sam Spiegel, who was pivotal to both films, recoiled from the idea of casting O'Toole again, a twist of fate that led to O'Toole's ascent in the realm of cinema legends. As we revisit this cinematic gem, let us acknowledge the daring themes it broached, the talents it celebrated, and the behind-the-scenes stories that color its narrative. Suddenly, Last Summer remains an emblem of cinematic courage and distinction, etching its mark on the pages of film history. Montgomery Cliff's turbulent performance in Suddenly, Last Summer ignites on set tensions in the annals of Hollywood history. Few films have stirred as much controversy as the 1959 psychological drama Suddenly, Last Summer. Led by an ensemble cast and visionary director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, the movie delves into the dark recesses of human psyche. However, it's not just the on-screen turmoil that left an indelible mark. The tumult behind the scenes added another layer of intrigue to this cinematic masterpiece. At the heart of the storm was the renowned actor Montgomery Clift, who portrayed the tormented character Dr. Kukrovich. Plagued by his own personal demons, Clift found the role to be exceptionally demanding. The actor's struggles manifested during the filming process, often requiring him to shoot his scenes in small, disjointed increments. This meticulous approach tested the patience of director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, who frequently petitioned producer Sam Spiegel to replace Clift. The tension between Cliff's method and Mankiewicz's frustration created an electric atmosphere on set, fueling the movie's already palpable intensity. Interestingly, Cliff's dedication to his craft extended beyond the confines of the set. According to Mercedes McCambridge, who played Mrs. Holly, Clift would share a ride with her to the London set. Their car journeys took an unconventional detour past Wormwood Scrubs Prison. It was an unusual ritual that further underscored Cliff's complex nature and the haunting themes of the film. Not everyone, however, was enamored by the film's audacious exploration of human psyche. In a surprising twist, the iconic John Wayne expressed strong disapproval of Suddenly, Last Summer. In a 1960 interview, Wayne labeled the film as too disgusting even for discussion, criticizing it alongside another 1959 release, They Came to Cordura. Wayne's condemnation labeled the film as a poison infiltrating Hollywood's moral bloodstream, thrusting Suddenly, Last Summer into the center of a heated cultural debate. As the years have passed, suddenly, Last Summer remains a polarizing masterpiece, a film where the complexities on and off screen are inseparably intertwined. The convergence of Cliff's personal struggles, Mankiewicz's artistic vision, and the broader societal tensions of the time have cemented the movie's place in history. In the end, suddenly, Last Summer stands as a testament to the potent interplay between art and life, darkness and light. It serves as a reminder that the most enduring stories often emerge from the crucible of conflict, leaving an indelible mark on both the silver screen and the annals of Hollywood lore. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of Suddenly, Last Summer, may the echoes of its haunting scenes linger in the corridors of your mind. Just as the movie's intricate plot unraveled the secrets shrouded in the depths of its characters, take a moment to untangle the emotions it evoked within you. Like the flicker of celluloid memories, the film dances between the past and present, a tapestry woven with the threads of secrecy, desire, and the human psyche's darkest corners. 
As you reflect on its enigmatic narrative, consider the parallels it might draw to your own journey, the hidden recesses of your experiences, the untold stories that lie beneath the surface. Perhaps you found resonance in the charged dialogues, a reflection of the unsaid words that have shaped your own relationships. Or maybe it's the unforgettable performances that left an indelible mark on your heart, a testament to the power of art to stir the depths of our souls. Whether it's the lush cinematography that painted a vivid backdrop to the unfolding drama or the subtle symbolism that whispered between the lines, suddenly, Last Summer is more than a movie, it's a mirror that invites you to gaze upon the facets of your own existence. So, take a moment to delve into the shadows that this cinematic masterpiece cast across your thoughts. Share your whispers of admiration or intrigue, your musings about the layers that continue to unravel within you. As you do, remember that the reel of emotions spun by this film is not just celluloid. It's a connection, a moment in time where the celluloid meets the strings of your heart. Thank you for allowing this exploration of the movie's depth to intertwine with your own reflections. Your time and engagement are treasured gems in the tapestry of shared experiences. Until we meet again on the stage of contemplation, let the legacy of Suddenly, Last Summer continue to cast its spell upon your thoughts. Warmly, your name.